Today we're taking a look at a slightly different like portable power station, battery bank, whatever you want to call it. This is great for charging all of your 12 volt gear. This is called the Glid Charge or the Glide Charge Power Brick. It's made by Space Gravity. Now all these do ship from Texas, at least at the time of this video. I do wish they were a little more transparent in their marketing though, because they do say that they're shipped from Texas and everything. However, this is registered to a German company and it is shipping, or I mean, it is manufactured in China. So just keep in mind that this is not actually manufactured in the United States. It's just being tested and shipped from the United States at the time of this video. Still pretty cool that, you know, some US workers are involved in that process of making sure these pass QC and everything. This is really tough plastic. Like she's a tough girl. It weighs 2.2 pounds. It's eight by four by two inches. Kind of interesting thing. They do claim that it's a some level of weather resistant and it can handle both cold and heat. For my big bear paws, I can get my hand around it. Uh, you may have to grab it like that if you have smaller hands, but I can just palm that thing. And that's kind of interesting. Now, something weird about this is it does have a remote and we'll take a look at that in a second. But first let's talk about these specifications. This is a 99.84 watt hour battery. It's 12.8 volts at 7.8 amp hours. Just barely safe for air travel, but it packs like some energy storage in there. This is lithium iron phosphate too. It is not lithium ion. Um, I really like that because the lithium iron phosphates are they're not going to like self ignite. Uh, obviously you could set it on fire, but you're not gonna have those problems where it just randomly bursts into flames like lithium ion can do. It does have pretty stable voltage curve, even under a heavy load. It takes about three hours to fully recharge via USB-C. If you're using uh, a USB-C adapter, that's good enough. I just use my GAN charger and I have drawn this down, uh, let's say five times, five or six times. It has built-in over voltage, uh, short circuit, over current, and temperature protection. Now, this is gonna run like your camp lights, uh, all your stuff when you're camping. It does have the 12 volt, two amp um, DC output. I don't have anything that I can use with that, but then it has a USB-A, which is five to 12 volts at one and a half amps. And then it has a five to 20 volt at three amp USB-C for both the in and out. And that's it. it. It's real basic in that you don't get a lot of ports. You don't have like an AC plug. You don't have anything like that. That's not really the market they're going for. So let me show you this weird remote. I don't know why I would want it to have a remote. And it does come with this cable to do your uh, like right angle DC to uh, DC. I think these are both female. And then, I, you know, I again, I don't really have anything to use that for. And then it comes with a nice beefy USB-C cable, but you don't get a wall wart or anything. So you have to worry about that yourself. What am I doing? The remote. So it has this remote and I just turned it on with that. Oh, I guess you guys couldn't see that. So we'll turn it off with that. So you just saw the lights go out. I'm gonna turn it back on. You can just barely see those lights. Let me, there we go. So off and on. Then I, I just, I'm not really sure what it's about. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I, I'm never going to use that. I guess if you had something charging or a light, maybe you wanted to turn the light off across the way. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. You have a light USB light or 12 volt light plugged into this when you're camping, you have that on the other side of the tent or whatever, and you just click the button that that's, that's a pretty good use case or similar in like a camper. You wanted to turn the lights off and you're in bed, you just click it, set it on the, the nightstand or whatever. Okay. I see a use case. So let's try plugging the USB-A in and then plug it into the phone. All right, it just turns itself on. So there you go. Uh, just remember the remote is only for the USB-A ports. So if you're having trouble with USB-C and it's on, just turn it off and then plug in your USB-C and the USB-C works.